This is the giant bloop in Animal Revolt Battle Simulator, and it's not just giant, it is gargantuan. What have they done to the bloop? And, uh, there is a flamethrower in his mouth. Do, do bloops breathe fire? But anyways, bloop is going to be fighting up against these, uh, poor defenseless hu- what? Hum- hum- humans? Um, I, I don't see any humans. Guys, there's no humans. There's just burning piles of flesh. Nothing wrong with the burning piles of flesh. It's great. And this is a Final Destination map. Perfect place to have a couple of awesome battles. For example, on this side, we have a Scorpius Rex. Look at how awesomely he is designed. These bumps, the body armor, is great. And over here, we have an amazing Indoraptor with feathers and everything. Who's actually going to win? This fight of the dinosaurs, the Indoraptor kind of leapt in. Why does he have jetpacks? Can anybody explain that to me? It seems to be the Scorpius Rex having a hard time getting on top of the Indoraptor. The Indoraptor clearly has the advantage so far in this fight. His claws seem to be a little bit stuck inside the Scorpius Rex, guys. But I don't think the Scorpius Rex has given up just yet. Soon it might be able to break free. And the Indoraptor and the Scorpius Rex are now dead even in fighting. Oh, look at the Indoraptor chewing on the flank of the Scorpius Rex. So much blood on the floor. Those Scorpius Rex is also causing blood to drop as well. Yeah, guys, 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 I'm the cameraman. Um, I'm I'm here. Could you could you fight somewhere else, please? Who do we think is winning this? Uh-oh. Guys, it's the Indoraptor. If this was Super Smash Brothers, I think the Indoraptor would lose this fight, but it continues. And the Scorpius Rex followed by the Indoraptor. I don't know who won or who lost that fight. And here we have Chainsaw T-Rex, one of my favorite creations in Animal Marvel Battle Simulator, but um, you hear that noise. You see the purple laser beam going over top of the Chainsaw T-Rex. Who could that be? It's Terathysis, but it's actually the small one. It's like that giant thing you used to see take up entire maps, but it's been shrunk down so we can have more appropriate fights. Beautiful design, powerful breath weapon, lots and lots of purple pinky eyes. Let's see who wins the Chainsaw T-Rex who gets in with his chainsaw arms and chainsaw mouth and the Terathea- Oh! Humongous bite on the torso followed by a point blank breath weapon but Chainsaw T-Rex is not giving in on this fight. The fact that the Torathesis can get his teeth on it in Chainsaw T-Rex, man. I, I I was hoping that chainsaw will pull it off, but when you get your teeth around the torso of the thing and then you use a breath weapon, that's just an overpowered combination. Now it's time for the Pokemon battle of the century. You've got Primal Groudon, who is beautifully designed in Animal Marvel Battle Simulator, complete with a ring of fire all around him, and then you've got Mega Rayquaza who obviously looks phenomenal in his mega form with the extra fins, the extra size, and the extra power. Who's going to win? You know what? Comment down below, guys. This is a big fight. You got huge Rayquaza, huge Groudon. Who's going to win this fight? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. The fight begins, and luckily, they do not instantly kill each other. Rayquaza is picking up Groudon. But Groudon is not giving in yet, continuing to use its breath weapon to attack the Mega Rayquaza. But the Mega Rayquaza also has a breath weapon, and they're blasting on each other. This fight is awesome. Rayquaza is going towards the edge of the map. Luckily, the Groudon seems to be stuck in the trees. I don't know who's going to win this. Rayquaza? Groudon? Can any of them even deal decent damage to each other? Oh no! Groudon exploded! Mega Rayquaza is the victor! but I have a perfect opponent for him. Since we're talking about legendary Pokemon, you've got your Mega Rayquaza, but now you've got Giratana. Or Giratina? Gir Gir Giratina? Giratana? Comment down below and correct me, because I know you will. Uh, my money's on the Giratina or Giratana. We've seen this thing fight before. Yeah. Whoever built this legendary Pokemon tuned the damage far too high. Like, I'm almost certain this legendary Pokemon could take on both Groudon and Rayquaza at the same time and not even break a sweat. Th there there's one gone, and there's the other one gone, and, um, um, it's over? This is shit, whoever tuned this thing is too powerful. That's insane. Here we have a brand new killer Spider Queen. Look at how well designed this is. The attention to detail, the little pipes, 
the little grates, the missiles, the harpoons. This tarantula was well designed. And you know a fitting opponent for a tarantula? Giant moth. This is probably the best Mothra we have ever seen in Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Who will win this fight of spider versus moth? Mothra stabbing with its legs, the spider in close using its lasers and its breath weapon. There is blood on the field from the spider because of the stabbing of the Mothra. I wonder who's gonna win this fight. The spider has a hard time using its harpoons and using its weapons because it can't turn around and face the Mothra, which it's kind of doing now, but the Mothra has brought the spider to the edge of the map. The spider's holding on for dear life with its webbing, and the spider's trying to drag Mothra down with it, but too late, Mothra wins by ring out and still has a significant portion of its HP left over. Here we have 2019 Ghidorah. What a beautiful specimen, exceptionally designed. So I wanted to find a beautiful, exceptional opponent. It's Boxyvoo. Yeah, it's Boxyvoo. But for some reason, this Boxyvoo doesn't have legs. It's moored to the ground. So if I was Giratana, I would just kind of like keep my, yeah, see, keep my distance. No, no, you're getting too close. This boxy boo has a big mouth, humongous claws, and it desperately wants to chew on you. But Kiritana, not Kiritana, this is Ghidorah. A different G word is unleashing its breath weapons over and over on the boxy boo. But boxy boo just wants a hug. Boxy boo just wants to give you a kiss with all of its teeth and a hug with all of its claws. And I can't really tell who's winning this fight. Is the boxy boo successfully biting? The Giratana is the Giratana successfully using its breath weapon on the boxy boot. I don't know. I've been letting this fight go for a while. And it's no, no clear victor. So we check the HP. It seems the boxy boot is losing slowly. Like very, very slowly. And um, Ghidorah's barely been hurt. Yeah, boxy boot, you're no match for this king of monsters. Here we have Ultima Saurus. What an amazingly designed creature. Look at the horns on him. He looks good, but uh, this is like Mecha Fury or Mecha Fluffy or Mecha something, Mecha, Mecha, Mecha. And it's, it's um, there's there's flamethrowers and stabbies and shooties and, and shooties and stabbies. And this is going to be ugly, including a breath weapon. What? What? What is this? What, are, you, are you super strong? You know what? I got to test how strong you are. And look, even its tail spins. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's just sorry. You, you, you can disappear now. This thing thinks it's strong, but let's try Giratana. What? Yeah, no. <laughs> okay. Um, it, it, how much damage did it deal? Um, not an, not enough. Giratana, also, not not anything. Giratana is too strong. <laughs> yeah, I desperately want to see this. I want to see this so bad. Chainsaw T Rex versus the huge bloop. Oh yeah, here we go. Huge bloop. What? It didn't even give the chainsaw T Rex a chance. This bloop is disgusting. Ding. Okay, all right, okay, fine, fine. What if I also add a Godzilla with, 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 oh, what is that? That's not Godzilla, that's huge Zilla. And then maybe, um, Ghidorah on the other side, just be, just because, yeah, all right. Let's just see, let's just see what this bloop's got going on. Let's see how well it does against, uh, you know, Godzilla and Ghidorah and Chainsaw T-Rex. Now, if I was designing Chainsaw T-Rex, I would make him huge. Just like the bloop, or just like Godzilla, and not be a little tiny baby T Rex. So, if you think about it, it's uh, still a big T Rex. Oh, Ghidorah! Ghidorah's down! The bloop destroyed Ghidorah! Can the bloop also wreck the Godzilla? Man, that bloop is huge, and Godzilla is tiny compared to it, and Godzilla's huge. And somewhere down there is wee little baby Chainsaw T-Rex. I like how the bloop just flew into the sky in peace. He's like, no, 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 I'm not fighting you like that, Godzilla. Really hard to tell who's winning this fight. This bloop really needs to turn around and face the Godzilla and stop just spinning in circles. And Chainsaw T-Rex just exploded. You know, I think the bloop was winning this, but now that it can't get his face turned around, I think Godzilla's gonna win this in the end. Oh, that's a lot of fire being breathed on the Godzilla. The bloop did turn around a little bit, but now it's kind of um face down in the dirt. Oh, bloop turning around for another pass, breathing fire on the Godzilla. This fight is so close. This fight is insanely close. And the bloop was destroyed, and the Godzilla only had a little bit of HP left. If Godzilla 
breathe a little more fire, it would have been over.